Hey, see you in Dallas, buddy. If you don't know what that means, you're gonna get to know now. Welcome to Lotus Lab. This episode is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, yesterday there was a lot of Twitter drama when it comes to some tweets. Uh, a guy called Aimbot Neon, um, I don't know who that is, uh, who I didn't know, uh, complained about the fact that Guns and Valorant ha are too RNG to be competitive. Pistols are not even shooting straight at all. And he demonstrates in practice range that the bullets are not going straight where he is. You know, it's like, then he complains about tactical shooter with precise gameplay and so on. So he's just making fun of Valorant. Apparently he's a member of a, of, of a uh, aiming community. That's some, something like, you know, I know, Aimlabs, Kovex, I don't know, they have competitions, I guess, and who gets more numbers. Uh, so um, my answer was, guns have designed the effective range and specifications. Pistols, in the, in the case, you know, this context of this tweet, are more accurate while on the move than, for example, rifles. That's why when in pistol rounds, you find yourself a little bit more mobile in up close range. There's no point in just standing still because you can just literally get your opponent a headshot within like five meters while fully running because the gun is a little bit more accurate while running than a rifle. Same goes for SMGs. They're designed to be more mobile than other guns. Same goes for shotguns. You don't, you're not gonna see someone crouching and shooting a bucky in most cases. He's gonna be just, you know, either strafe peeking or jump peeking and so on and shooting you. That's why the, the, the guns have this the different um, specification. And I, in my opinion, when someone has, an, uh, someone has a take like this, it's just this just means that he doesn't understand what is the logic behind the game design in a tactical shooter. Because you have an array of weapons and all of those, those weapons have a specific situation in, my, in the mind of the designer of that weapon to be used in. Right? That's why it's a tactical shooter. You are taking gunfights and you're taking for objectives according to the tools that you have. And those tools are being given to you by the um by the devs. And that's why it's so important to understand that. If this game would have had absolute perfect accuracy on every gun, there would be no need for more than three guns in the game. And there would be no reason to have even an economy in the game. Because what for? If Vandal will have a perfect accuracy, there's no need for Guardian or Operator for this matter, because in most cases, you're gonna just out-aim the player with a sniper who's, you know, should be favored in a long-range gunfight. Uh, and that's very important to understand. And there were a lot of people, like, just saying some bullshit, and I need to show it because the, the meme is just incredible. Uh, Shazam answered... To, to him saying, you're shooting a pistol at long range, of course there will be bullet spread, which is logical, right? Shazam knows that. I think you're missing the point of it being tactical FPS. This is not an aim trainer. So essentially what I said as well, right? This is like very logical conclusion. The goal is to set up yourself to, to take better fights. That's what I mean with like having the ability to read, it, to read the game and adapt to the situation. And he answers, and this is just perfect. I hope you guys are going to use the new game. I'll see you in Dallas, buddy. Like, what? No one knows what the fuck that means. Shazam didn't know either. So he answered, I don't know what this means. And this is, there are two memes that are just like literally just spawned in this, in this one Twitter um, thread. So I'll see you in Dallas, buddy. I hope you're going to use this. And then the next one, it's unbelievably, I don't even know how to call it. Just cringe. I really shouldn't be telling you this since it's more of an aim community thing, but since this event is pr with pros and top US aimers, no one realizes that all the pros are going to get embarrassed at the event. This isn't meant to be rude or anything, it's just what will happen. Apparently they have like some aim competition and they think people care. So, uh, I don't know man, pretty weird, but I wanted to show you something. In game, right? In game, you can... Oh, hey, practice range, why are you kicking me off? I wasn't FK that long. So, in-game, you can check yourself if you want to learn a little bit. And you guys know that when it comes to Valorant, I'm all about learning. Uh, you should go to the practice range if it ever comes back to me. This is ridiculous. Hello? I'm recording a video here. Mm-hmm. Perfect. That is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, I'm gonna restart my Valorant when I'm still be talking. So, what I would like to present to you guys is... Oh, wait, it unlocked. Um, so, in the in the game, 
I would like you guys to go to settings and put on error, shooting error. That's that's a graph or a number that it will be appear on the stream, sorry, on the on the screen when you'll be shooting. And it's it's super important to understand what it represents because you can learn from it, right? So let's get chamber maybe. Um, as you can see, I have it here on the right side of the screen, shooting error next to my packet loss. So shooting error is showing values when it comes to angle deviation of your crosser. So let's say I'm taking a vandal, right? And I'm standing still and I'm shooting. The deviation of the bullet is 0 0.25 angle, right? One point of an angle. That is very, very small. Now, when I ADS, it goes down to 0 0.20. When I crouch, it goes to 0 0.21. When I crouch in ADS, it goes also to 0 0.21 because that's the minimum that you can have in general. Like, sorry, 0 0.20 is actually the minimum. But when you strafe, right, and you fully shoot while moving, you're going to see higher values, 5.25. This is why the bullet goes so far away from your crosser, right? So there are tools in this game that tell you what you should be doing to be more precise, right? So if you have a problem with shooting people in the head and you complain about RNG, maybe you should consider holding the angle with an ADS because it makes you more precise. The bullet will have less deviation than without holding the ADS. It's not only about the zoom, it's about making the gun more precise. This is why I'm always telling you guys to use ADS more often. You should even use it too often and then tone it down because it's something that you need to get into your head that you have to be using it, right? And let's say we make a comparison. At 30 meters, we have a bot. Let's say this is 35 meters, right? So when I'm gonna be shooting with the left click, I'm gonna be Accurate anyway. Four, five. I missed one so far. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, see, two misses. With 13 shots, I missed twice. Which is like at 35 meters, that's okay. I also aimed a little bit probably too high on the head because it wasn't in the middle of it. But if I ADS, there's like zero percent chance I'm gonna miss if I'm if I'm in the middle of the head. But the point is. Your teammates, um, sorry, not teammates, but your opponents were going to be moving. It's going to be hard to get those shots like consistently. So having that accuracy on the first bullet is pretty important because you're just being accurate, right? Look, I'm going to speed up. It's 0 20 while standing on every single shot. And I'm hitting every single bullet at 35 meters. Just because I'm standing still. Oh, sorry, I now started shooting to... to uh, too uh, fast. But you get the point. Like, if I would be shooting without the ADS at the same distance, I would miss some bullets. But if I adjust my gameplay, you're gonna hit more often. And people, I, I, I kid you not, there are some people that were replying to my tweet, right, by saying stuff like this. Wait, I need to show you this. Um, where's my tweet? Here we go. Uh, there's a guy here, this one. I don't know about you, but being punished for having good aim and butt luck because the bullets don't go straight don't seem like a tactical shooter to me, right? So I answered, play Guardian, everyone. You will never complain anymore. Just go play quick. Yeah, Guardian is the only gun that actually feels right in Valorant. It's pretty annoying because I feel like Vandal should be the same considering it only has 25 bullets. This guy is Immortal 3 or Radiant. Uh, he's a high rank. But he doesn't understand that there's a different fucking design in the fucking guns. If... Vandal would be as precise as Guardian, and Guardian is the most precise gun in the game. Like, it's crazy how precise this gun is. Like, the only reason to actually ADS, by the way, in Guardian, is to have a zoom. Because it's the same accuracy while you're standing still, and while you're standing still, and ADS. Like, it's literally the same accuracy. There's no difference if you're crouching or standing, because the gun is so accurate, right? So now, why on earth would you give the same type of accuracy to a gun that is full automatic, so it can be more overall, like, tailored for every round? Because the, the problem with Guardian is that it has only 12 bullets, and it's not automatic, right? That's its problem. So it's not good at taking close encounters, 
And like you don't want to hold the hookah, I guess, and bind with a guardian because it's going to be problematic for you. You're relying on getting flicks, you know? But if if Vandal would be the same as Guardian, then what's the point of buying Guardian? What's the point of even having it in, in the game? It's pointless. The reason why this menu has so many guns is because you are using the tools for what you want to plan. If this round you want to hold hookah like more passively, you can consider a judge. You want to play, I don't know, long B, you might actually consider buying Vandal and IDSing or maybe going for a Guardian if you want to buy more utility, but then you have a problem with holding side if they go aggressive on you or there are more mobility on the opponents and they will just dash on you, right? If there's a jet and raise and they're going to dash on you, your Guardian is going to feel really unreliable because it doesn't have the full auto that the Vandal has. So my point is, my friends, be open-minded. Don't be like those monkeys on Twitter that are just con like saying first before thinking. Use the game that you play Go into the practice range, go on with the shooting error and learn about how to play the game, how to use the guns. There's so many cool information that you can get from it. You know what I learned, for example? Chamber, look at the deviation on the bullets. When I left click, it's 0 0.25. When I right click, it's 0 0.25. Sorry, 0 0.20 when I right click, right? So there's a difference. It's more accurate with the right click. But you know what I also discovered? Look what I do. When I crouch, it's 0 0.20. When I crouch in NDS, it's again 0 20 right but the thing is now i'm gonna start moving left and right while shooting see something Do you find this interesting? You can only learn this if you actually want to learn. Right? So, be curious about the game. Go into practice range. Try this out. This is, this is how, by the way, Guardian worked in the past. It doesn't work like that anymore. It's still very accurate, but it's 080. It's not 020. So there's a chance you're going to miss. See? See how big of a difference is 080 to 020? I'm actually missing bullets. 080 to 020. Right? Learn. Be passionate about the game that you play. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. And also remember that this is sponsored by Orbit. Thank you very much, Orbit, for uh, sponsoring the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, play some Chamber. Do some crap peeking. If you don't know Orbit, it's a gum. Oh, green screen. It's a gum, mint gum in this case. That will refresh your mind and your mouth. All right. See you. Bye-bye.